What's up? How's the internet holding up? As in you guys, and also is it lagging? Both questions. I can be honest, I can't stand this background music, but it's better than silence, I feel like. Or is it? I don't know. I hate it. It's so dead. I guess that's the point. We used to have good background music. I don't know what happened. Not a bit of a lag. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn. Yeah, I was. I was just gonna be like, yeah, I'll just turn it down super low. You can't even comprehend what it is. Oh, it is quite loud. There we go. I'm gonna test this. You can't. Yeah. What do you think of Michio? You asked me that like days ago. You really need to know that bad. I don't know. I didn't finish it. Sorry. You need to know that bad. I don't know. I didn't finish it. Sorry. All right, today, check out the video, I thought. I still haven't fixed my computer. I've been having all kinds of setup issues. I thought I had the like mobile setup figured out because I've used it before, but nah, man, nah. I plugged in my desktop and the whole thing just electrifies me. I touch it, I get electrified. I plug in the display and then I touch the display, I get electrified. It's garbage. Then I thought, oh cool, you know what? I don't need a condenser microphone. I can just put a lav mic, right? That works. This takes up way more the way less spent space. Sounds like ass. Sounds like garbage. I don't know if you watch my videos lately, but it makes this like sound and I I don't know why. <laughs> like why? Can you just work? Fucking mic. Um, yeah, the last video is going up tonight. It got too late and we got a bunch of copyright strikes, so I thought we'll move it to a day later. I don't know why everyone freaks out because a video went down. Yeah, that's literally it. If a video goes down, usually copyright. Uh... And then I got scammed into buying these like portable monitors. I don't know if you've seen them. They're like flat monitors. I can't show them. Oh, well, I guess I can. There they are. Um, I thought, oh, that's so smart. They're like portable. You can just, they're not heavy. They're easy to move. Okay, I like that. That fits like when I'm on the, on the move. They're so bad. It hurts my eyes to even look at them. I paid, I paid $300 for this. Garbage. And they shill it on TikTok. Those fucking dumbass kids on TikTok. Get rid of my life. I hate that. God damn it. <laughs> what is this music? I clicked on alternative hip hop. Why is some bitch singing Spanish music? Shut the fuck up. This is not a good start. I'm getting pissed on. Listen, I just want background music. Jazz. No one sings in jazz, right? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Getting worked up. It's gonna be a PowerPoint presentation, all this shit in one day, trust me.
Let's watch some fucking videos. God damn it. I had such a great day until I start streaming. And it all goes to shit. I swear I'm not always like this. Okay, so I asked uh, people on on members to send me videos to watch. Let's check it out. Can you see this? Yeah. So I'm just going to put chat on the worst display of all time. And then maybe I'm able to read it. There's $300 chat display that looks like ass. Let's chat a bit first, before it starts. Curious, what's your opinion about this scam verified bots that's been popping up recently? Okay, most channels. Why do verified channel comment on every channel by time works? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's crazy how YouTube is like always losing this battle to bots. It seems like they just can't win. For as long as I've been YouTube, to be no bots and comment, man. Very annoying. I don't like it. It's better than it used to be, so it's okay. You got your GFU birthday shake yesterday? Oh, nice! I'm making a video, I told you already, but... Where I try every single GPU, they're sending me all of them, and I'm actually really hyped for it. Suki and Teddy Fresh collab, love, love, right? That'd be cool. Yeah, I'm doing this music. Why do you guys think everything was so much happier back in the day? Like all the media was always happy. Some happy dappy shit. You know what I mean? That was like, I just want to die. That kind of stuff. Uh, that table awfully low to the ground for Europe, bro. I don't know what that means. We might do another Marcia Shaker if she's down to do it, but yeah, those were those did really well. Snack video was awesome. <laughs> Hope my scenes were. 
Iya. Yeah, I'm still gonna do the pizza meme. This is fun to do something different, not just me sitting here going, This sucks, this is stupid, I hate all this shit. <laughs> Basically all my videos. Play crab game. Yeah, apparently Donnie made that. It's I saw the trailer for it, it was fucking hilarious. But my internet's too shit, man. I can't no, I can't do it. Can you play the new FNAF game when it's out? Uh oh, they're still making new FNAF games. I never enjoy those games, ever. I find them tedious, annoying. They're scary for the first five minutes, but then you got jump scared and it's like, oh, so now I'm... This is annoying. <laughs> this is not my kind of game. I understand if people like it. Great. What camera do you use and what settings do you mind? Well, well, how the turntables. First, Felix has bad camera. Nee, nee, nee. Oh, now it's Felix camera. Good, I want that camera. Bitch, you are me telling you nothing. Fine, you do your own fucking Googling, bitch. Got him. It's a Sony A73S. <laughs> With a 35mm lens. <laughs> It's really good. I was, uh, I guess, like, reason why I didn't want to get a new camera was because DSLRs just weren't good for plugging into computers. They were just wonky as shit. At least a couple years ago, they used to be. You had, you could hack them to make them better, but I just thought, okay, I'll get a camcorder, and then camcorders, yeah, all right, man. But now they're good. The the latest Sony is great. It's reliable too. That's all it needs. I just need to shit my works, you know? That's all I care about. You ever heard of good enough? In today's society, you have to make billions of jillions of choices, okay? Sometimes good enough is good enough, you know? I don't always need the best shit. But everyone's assume I have to have the best thing, because he's rich and he has to have the best and the best. Why doesn't he? Good enough, bro. Thanks. Mysterious for Give It Home, that's a series I haven't thought about in a long time. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, the camera's expensive though. When will I shoot in 4K? When my upload speed isn't like 1 megabit. And I actually care. Uh, did he get sick? He get a sick pump after eating all those carbs. What does that mean? I gotta say, some of the granny candy that I ate in that video was actually pretty good. Like. You just suck on them, it's nice. I like it. Granny candy, not so bad after all. Watch a streamer play a game and pretend it's me. <laughs> I like that. I 
I like the bokeh that you get from the light. That is literally just from my charger. There's like this tiny little light that's just like boop. It's kinda cool. Yeah, I like this music. Some good shit. Alright, I'm glad you got your package, Damon. That's great. <laughs> There's a BOGO G Fuel sale coming up. That's why I'm doing the video. Just letting you guys know. I don't think we have plans to restock the hook side. Sorry. watching Sopranos again. Have you watched it? No, but a friend of mine is recommending it. They're loving it. As in PJ. <laughs> I think that's the one. It's an Italian type of show, right? Have you ever finished God of War in time for a new one? I gotta be honest, and I wasn't really gripped by it. That's my WhatsApp. Animal Crossing Peaky Peaky 21 Tour Update Stream, yeah? What does that mean? Oh, Peaky Peaky! Myers is basically asking, do you want to do another stream where I show off my Animal Crossing? <laughs> that wasn't Myers' check in WhatsApp, that's Myers' Felix check WhatsApp. Yeah, I've been down for that. I'm sure you that all is fun. How is this cam better than your regular cam? I think the cam looks better because I have more of a distance behind me and it gives you more of a depth feel as opposed to the mirror kinda just makes it look weird. And like having lights in the background makes everything pleasant. Pleasant, yes. <laughs> I love how you combine those emotes, Nico. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play Elden Ring, guys. For sure. Reply, try OC for practicing your aim. Uh, no, but I like uh, music based games. What is Marissa saying? The answer I wanted was heck yeah, I can't wait, let's do it. But I can forgive, she says. That's what I said, no, that was. I thought it was pretty. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, I can't wait for Peachy Peachy. I was invited for the network test for Elden Ring. I just didn't have my PlayStation, so I couldn't do it. Yeah, 
everything gonna take it in a long break again? Yeah, when I'm in Japan, for sure. That's a Sherlock Holmes game? That would explain why everyone kept saying it. Uh, what is it? I've seen this pop up, I didn't register. It's chapter based. Yeah, I think I would like Risk of Rain too, but uh, no. Estrella chips are the best, I love them since I've studied in Sweden. Uh, sour cream and onion Estrella chips, hell yeah, that's the shit. It looks kind of boring, though. No, nah, not interesting. Thank you. Why does he look like a K-pop star? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this? on Metaverse. We watched some of it last um, stream. I think if there's any Metaverse to be existed, Mark Zuckerberg's version is not the one I'm interested in, but... Watch Pirates Utopia video. Yeah, sure, I got like 60 hours to spare. Questions trying to figure out what I want to answer. I the only game I'm planning to play is Elden Ring, the rest can go suck a bunga. Yeah, games is for nerds, guys. Get another hobby, unless you're a nerd. Did you hear Zuck stole the name Meta after the company owned it, refused to sell, so they are now having a legal battle? Well, Meta is such a broad term anyway. I guess any word is. I took a week up for Elden Ring, but then it got delayed. Ah, oh, the pain. I felt like me when I, I took a time off last year during quarantine. It's like, what the fuck do I do? any good books. I'm reading Epicurus still. It's pretty good. I'm almost finished with it. Does Lingon Knekebra exist? That sounds awful. What the fuck?
played any golf lately? No, but I would love to. It's not the season, mate. What up, Jason? <laughs> no, I, I've already said I'm not, I'm not going to play a Delta and that's why. I, I get the same questions looped and I don't feel like answering the same question. My handicap we used to be 16. In golf. I'm pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I know that 16 isn't amazing, but... I was pretty serious about, like... A lot of people cheat their handicap, because it's kind of like an honor system. I don't know if you guys know how handicap work in golf. Unless you're a professional. You know, you can kind of like, yeah! Yeah, I'll lower my handicap for sure. And then people get like handicap that are ridiculously low and they never play on it. But I was pretty serious about it. Why does the music have to get so fucking sad in any playlist? It just becomes like, alright, now it's depression. Cool. We were having a good time. There we go. Fix it. So the first video people wanted me to check out was the cold ones. It's 18 minutes, so I'll probably skim through it. What the fuck is this ad? What was that? What did I just watch? We got Italian ads going on here. C'è un villaggio. Can we drink this? Oh, it's just... I just kind of want to see the most. Chad, you have none. I want to see the most expensive one. Come on. Sorry, what percent is that one? Seventy-five point five. Seventy-five point five. You could literally put this in like a, a like a lawnmower and it would run. Fifty-two cent in drinks, you'd die, right? <laughs> Bruh. Is an absent like eighty-four? Indeed. I don't know how to spell absent. It's T H. Yeah, absent. Oh, it, it's up to seventy four. If you drank this bottle, you die. Let's go take it to a house party. And but you drink like this little of it. <laughs> You're not supposed to. <laughs> Enough killing. What's next on the list? Okay, we're now up to number two on the list, which is a Stro 80. Can I just say, the further we get up the list, the less syllables Scott is. This is the most Australian video. It was 80%. It was $90. I'm pretty sure this is what they put around the necks of St. Bernard's. Said if you got lost in the mountain. Ah, uh, sorry. Run, run. A $90 bottle. At, that is what percent? 80. <laughs> okay. High strength alcohol. Warning. Rapid or excessive. Guys, I'm not using opera. 
Only because I'm logged in on everything on my Opera. So I'm worried that if I go to a website or something like that, it's like, oh, you want to log into your email, which is this? And then I, I just like, fuck myself. I don't want to, it's not worth it. Assumption can cause injury or death. I use a different browser. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, 80%. Sorry, is that actually what this is? It's in the fucking name. Bro. I feel like, sorry, yeah, I phased out a reality for a second. Oh my, it smells like actual petrol. Yeah, that is fuel. Or that some is kind. fuel. That's just for like a like an airplane or a car. <laughs> Let's just see how flammable this one is. It's flammable. Flammable. Prime uses. We can't sweet it for a sec. Secondary uses for drinking. <laughs> Why is it so funny when you drunk? I feel high. Yo, is, that, is that the absence? <laughs> the absence. I feel high. Yo, my name is Deese. <laughs> Deese what? <laughs> Deese nuts. It looks toxic. This is like a red pink. Oh, it's melting the ice. Like the ice is like you're holding a lighter to it. It's just melting. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Cheers. Cheers. This one's the shoe nice. You want some monster? That's a glass of water, but you're okay. gonna need it. All right, here we go. Eighty percent. Chase it straight away. Sorry, Scott. The chaser did nothing. The aftertaste smells like I've been at the petrol station. The chaser did nothing. Oh, that's I feel just like, yeah. fuel. Yeah, I feel like I'm pumping. That belongs in a fucking machine. <laughs> oh, don't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. I don't know what the fuck comes after that. Death? I'm kind of cloud nining. I'm kind of pretty good. Chad, remember, we're not on ground floor. Be very scared. I'm not high, I'm drunk. <laughs> okay, the final bottle. This is the Belteon 96. 96? That's well, that's a proof, bottle. though. Is it proof like the half half of it? I think they got it wrong. It didn't have a type of liquor. It just says pure spirit. What the fuck are you saying? It's beyond comprehension. It's, it's ascended past liquor status. 96%. This shit. Boston. This is like Goku's. But it's 96 proof. That's not percent. I've learned this since I made this mistake myself. This is lower than the other ones, right? Fucking I mean, final form when he becomes Ultra Instinct. This is like when Goku Three. fermented the Senzu beans in his garage. <laughs> I think the hyping is Wait, the wrong kind of way. That it's just like back to normal. To super plain. Just looks like a bottle of water. It's got a very basic caution sign on it. It says, do not drink. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Undiluted. Oh, well, we got chases. Can we drink this? What is it called? Alcohol. I think it's meant for cooking. I feel like you should need a license to buy this. Oh yeah, that's Bruh. on fire. Light that bitch on fire, Chad. Yeah, I'm about to. This is a good shot of the- Chinquist. I can't spell. Oh, it is 96%. Never mind. <laughs> Take a zip, goes blind. Are they gonna drink it undiluted? No, 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 no. That's a bad idea. I what the about, fuck? I forgot about the open lid. Do not do this. Hey, it's a good shot. It is the proof sign, though. Good shot. <laughs> I almost just set off an explosive Chad's in the making a Molotov. Oh, this is all flammable shit. Listen. <laughs> My name is Deese. You ready? Yeah. I'm not. Oi, listen. If Susan's watching, hey, kids, don't do this. We've been training our whole lives for this. Pussy. Here you go. That's yours, mate. I didn't want any. <laughs> really? I didn't want none. Oi, throw this out. Give him a clean glass. <laughs> nah, let me drink it. Let me drink it. Let me drink it. Yeah. Well, let's say you're supposed to drink it diluted. You're meant to drink it diluted. Okay. To Belteon. To Belteon. Cheers. But <laughs> if you drink it diluted, then it's like 20%. <laughs> I'm like, what? He just faded the whole purpose, idiots. Fucking drunk fools. God, do what? You... What's the point? The point was you drink it. I guess you're not supposed to, but come on. No, that gets a dislike for me. If there was a dislike button, I'd dislike that. That's dumb. I feel lied to.
just fine. Let's do another one. That's kind of fucked. I wanted them to die from the drink. <laughs> yeah, let's do a shot then. On top of Oh, okay, they do. All right, remove this link. Remove this link. You shouldn't do this at home. You should not drink this undiluted. Just have a sip. Have one sip. No, 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 no. There's no difference with sipping it and finishing it. So true. There's no, there's no difference. <laughs> Oh, it's just fuel. It's just. It's just straight fucking. All right. Get some like. All right. The next one people recommend it was. Why do verified channel comment on every video by TimeWorks? Which doesn't exist apparently. Hey, look, it's me. We have this, though. Yeah. Apex Legends, I gotta check that shit out, man. Let's go. Bro, imagine playing Apex Legends. Shit. Questo Black Friday è ah. Opio Vanti, oh, mamma mia. Asciugatrice Electrolux. Oh, oh, oh. 99 euro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> These are the most subscriber drops. Marina Joyce, John Tron, Boogie, no, Bash Servers. Shit. Wait, what did Captain Sparkles do? The fuck? Connor Fran, that, yeah, he probably he did some shit. Probably stabbed someone. I dubs, no. <laughs> okay. Then. I want to know what they did. <laughs> what the fuck did Glozell Green? She's the cinnamon girl. Did everyone just realize? Oh, she doesn't do anything else. That was mean. I don't know. Maybe she does. Source for nerd. They fucked up. A syndicate project. I heard something, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> was that with items? Making him lose subs? What did Casey do? Oh, he did that, um... Uh, he did that Trump video, didn't he? Hillary Clinton meme. Vsauce. What the fuck? Who would unsub from Vsauce? That's fucked up. Deji, I mean... Yeah, I can understand. Admitting... Oh, it says I'm fucking blind. Admitting to grooming a minor doesn't bode well for your YouTube channel. No, it just said on zero for some reason. What the fuck? Great. T series! Oh! <laughs> Gabby Hannah, no! She was. She chose to befriend. Gavin's choice to be friend with someone accused of sexual assault costs this. Shit. Alright. The game theorist. Declining video quality and maturing audiences. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Like anyone is maturing watching that. Jake Paul. I guess that was the point. Jake Paul. I was joking, by the way. He was caught using racial slurs. And his fans actually cared? What the fuck? Did he actually do that? I never heard that. Jesse and Jenna broke up. I actually thought about that the other day. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if they still do these pranks? Because they did it forever in 2016. Imagine if they're still pranking each other. Like 2020, like, yo, we're going to prank my watch. She's going to have no clue that I'm going to prank her. I have to be on the, this list, right? Uh, Logan Paul, 80k in a week. That's it, shit. Alright, Rise Scum. I don't know why it's funny to me, like... Rise Scum raises remarks of fi and financial dishonesty have not helped his numbers. <laughs> like, do people watch Rise Scum and then just go like, I can't believe... I can't believe it, man. 
so disappointed about his financial dishonesty. I'm gonna unsub now. I took him as a financial stand-up chap. Kifu with the faith shit. Drama alert. Okay. We got. Ryan was the most subscribed. What happened? What do you do? How dare you? How dare you unsub from me again? How dare you unsubscribe from Dan TDM? He didn't do not. Jack, what? Sean has been on you. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh! I know what this is. This is when YouTube like just perch subs, and they just decided to put them in. I think. Yeah, yeah. This is bullshit. This is bullshit now. Cause that means I'm coming up, and I don't. I didn't even do nothing. Little things the declining content quality caused Little to lose subs over the years. A drop off in creativity has led to a drop off in subs for Vanna's gaming. I met Vanna's a long time ago. He's a, he's a good dude. I want to check out what he's doing. I haven't checked in on him in a while. Fucking Pathy. Got him. Pro Jared. Accusation of infidelity ruined Pro Jared's public image. That was fucking crazy in retrospect. Remember remember that shit? I remember that shit. That shit was crazy. Man, everyone was like, he's a piece of shit. Take 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 uh, the wife's word for it. Everyone's like, yeah. And then he's like coming out with his side of the story and he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing happened. And everyone's like, oh, okay. There's a psychological thing. I don't remember what it was called, but if, if something comes out about someone that is negative, and even if that is proven false, the negative impression still remains regardless if you understand that what you were told first was a lie i don't know what it's called but it's a psychological thing that is kind of awful in perspective of these bullshit thing that comes out sometimes oh yeah jeffrey star had some weird shit i didn't follow that bitcoin scam hikaru I don't even know who that is, Manny Mua? You got in an argument with Jeffree Star, I yeah, can't do that. Ray William Johnson. No, there's a man, there's a big man. Fuck you, that was not because of that. Eat shit this channel, dislike. See how good that feels to dislike? I can't do it, I'm not logged in. No, no it's not, it's not cognitive bias. Just stop it. That was, all right, fine, sure. I lost those subs because YouTube purged subs, literally, like... He's making shit up now. Damn. Damn, now we get to the big numbers. Vivi Casaman. A YouTube scam causes Mexican YouTube to face harsh backlash. Never heard of Vivi Casaman? As a man did a scam. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Excuse me? If you're 18 or older. Huh. Alright. I just wanted to know what the scam was. <laughs> Badaboon! It's James Charles Laws. I missed that. You can't do that. We can't watch that anymore. You can't watch channels just crumble. YouTube removed the fun. And now they're removing the dislike. They're removing more fun. Alright, let's check out Banis. I remember he was fucking jacked when I saw him. He still uploads. He's doing well. What are people complaining about? That's all I need to know.
He lost three million. That's not bad. Um. All right, let's check out more videos that you guys sent. Building a quality USB-C microphone from DIY perks. Okay. I'll check that out. That reminds me of another channel I want to check out after we watch this ad. I want to watch this video. All right, here we go. Featuring a built-in shock mount, adjustable boom arm. But bro, it's 20 minutes. I'm not going to watch a 20 minute video. Have you seen this set? This motherfucker built a submarine out of Lego. But let's not watch this one first. He did another one. This one, this one is so good. Wait, this is more obstacles. Which is the original one. There we go, thanks. There we go. Can't do it. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Gotta get that grip, bro. Oh? Alright. Gotta get that torque, bruh. And, alright. <laughs> Four wheel drive. This is 54 million views? Damn. Here I was thinking I'm all quirky and shit watching Lego builds. There's the grip tires, yeah. Yeah. It'll do it. I actually haven't seen this one. No way I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why don't they build old cars like this? Come on. See? Ah, oh, shit, that's a tricky one. It could do it. No fucking way. God damn. No. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, red. Reduce the rear weight. Alright. Smooth. Come on, it doesn't have to go down as well. Well, you gotta ain't Lower center, man. Okay. Great. You did it. That's impossible. What the fuck are you gonna do that? Um. Is that the Toyota Hilux? Whoa! Fucking PlayStation controller, get out of here! Oh shit! No way! That takes some skill.
Yeah. There you go. Oh. Two your days from taking notes. Ah. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. It does not have to go down as well. It's okay. You proved your point. I wrote it down, Jamitz. Neat. That thing is ridiculously overpowered now. What the fuck? Whoa! Bro, a new Tesla would be like, come on. Holy shit! Fuck yeah. Uh oh. Can it? Nope. Can it flip itself over? Oh, okay. Stop. Yeah, how do you get up there? All the way is in the room. Well, you can distribute it, maybe. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, damn! Anything you can do it. Oh, maybe you can't. It's not a perfect climber. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's pretty fucking good. God damn. <laughs> Another thing. So yeah, I watched some other ones. This is the first one I saw. He built a submarine. Partiamo. Someone told me to watch that. So. Molte banche ti permettono di pagare a rate. All the fucking banks, man. All right, here we go. How do you even hook that up? Oh, it's just a pump. But still. Ah. Huh. I could build this. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you very much. I don't know if you guys forgot your message or some shit. It can blow my balloons. Just take a fucking glass jar? Bruh. Magnets? Everything seems like so precise. No friction tape. So smart. I didn't even know that was a thing. Maybe this isn't regular tape.
Yeah, I do bomber. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> That's some strong shit, man. Oh, cool. More magnets, more power. All right. Damn, that's strong. Fucking shove the hole. What's the servo motor and why is it so delayed? Just wait for it. It's so satisfying to watch too, just all the pieces <laughs> click in. Uh, it's not just engineering, all the click pieces go. Click, click. Service using car say Oh yeah, you're right, I'm so stupid, I remember that. It's called the same in Swedish. Fuck, so cool! What? The fuck kind of plastic is that? So it took so long to drill. Alright, that's pretty tight, man. Bro, imagine making too big of a hole there. I have to redo everything. You gotta have Captain on there. So how does he calculate... Uh, does he have to d figure out... Like the weight and how much it takes for it to... Float? How big an under pressure forms inside the hull? I'm gonna get a snack, one sec.
I'm not entirely sure I understand, like, the pressure of the insides and the balloon and what sort of um, necessary I guess we'll see it needs to be heavier to sink There you go. much friction in the water. Power resistance. in there, what the fuck, damn it. How come? The pressure in the hole and and the balloon, if the balloon inflates, it goes up. Shouldn't it be the same thing? I don't get that. Am I dumb? I mean, the answer is yes, but... The lid bends a little. Oh, red balloon. Yeah. It looks so cool, though. No, look up displacement. The volume gets bigger and more water is... Oh, of course. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, of course. That's the principle of uh, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay, thanks. Oh, that's so cool. Buoyancy is that what's called? I think I don't know what it's called in. Uh, I don't know.
I know it's the whole Archimedes meme where he went into the bathtub and how much water you push away and that flow and shit. Oh, Eureka shit. I don't believe that, by the way. That's a dumb story. <laughs> Y'all hating on this beautiful machine? How could you? That's so cool! Works like a swim bladder inside a fish. Oh, so that's how fish do it. They have swim bladder? Alright, learning all kinds of shit. Alright, we're switching video now. Randy rep presents the life and times of Ernst time Hemingway. In all of your living memories, I now am proud to present to you the life and times of Ernest Miller Hemingway in approximately three and a half minutes. Go! Born in Chicago in 1899, son of a physician and a musician, reasonably uneventful childhood, decided to study journalism. Enlisted with the Red Cross during World War I, got blown up in Milan and spent six months in hospital with severe shrapnel wounds in both legs. Fell in love with the nurse, they decided to get married. He came home to prepare, she stayed there oh, and fish worked him for an Italian soldier, which initiated a lifelong pattern of him rejecting women before they had a chance to reject him. Take note, Maddie. Got a job as a foreign correspondent, fell in love with his roommate's sister, married her and moved to Paris. They hung out with Gertrude Stein, they kicked it with Pablo Picasso. He started writing in earnest, no pun intended, moved to Toronto, had a kid, moved back to Paris. Yeah, it's weird to imagine all these like important figures interacting in Paris. Published a couple of books, cheated on his wife, got divorced, married the other woman, converted to Catholicism. <laughs> Cut his head open after pulling on a cord thinking he was flushing a toilet and instead ripped a skylight from the roof and smashed it onto his face. <laughs> Moved to Kansas City, had another kid, his dad committed suicide, he shot a lot of bears for some reason. Yep. Had a car accident, had another kid, went to Africa to kill some wild animals and got dysentery. Karma! Published another book, moved to Cuba, shot himself in the leg whilst aiming at a shark! <laughs> Cheated on his wife, got divorced, married the other woman, pub I'm sorry, what? I need to know the context of it. <laughs> In 1935, this dispatch for Esquire headlined on being shot again. Shoot it in the brain of his clothes, the heart of his far, in spite of you need to stop it. Gray. He was inspired to offer these instructions, he writes, on account of just having shot himself in the calves of both legs. While attempting to gaff a shark on a fishing trip, he shot his fuck. Ah, oh, so he's kind of like. Oh. Okay. I believe it. Published for whom the bell tolls, sold half a million copies in a couple of months and got nominated for a Pulitzer Prize, cheated on his wife, got divorced, married the other woman, became the self-appointed leader of a band of village militia outside of Paris and was subsequently brought up on charges for contravening the Geneva Convention and got away with it like a fucking champion. <laughs> got pneumonia, moved back to Cuba and spent most of his spare time on his boat tracking Nazi U-boats with a machine gun and a pile of hand grenades. I am not making this shit up! <laughs> Had a few more car accidents, three more concussions, got clawed while playing with a lion. <laughs> Got depressed, drank, got fat, published a couple more books, went back to Africa to shoot some more wild animals and barely survived two separate plane crashes in the space of 24 hours, winding up with a fractured skull, internal bleeding, cracked spine, ruptured liver, first degree burns and a paralysed sphincter muscle. Come on! 
won a Nobel Prize. Alcoholism, ladies and gentlemen. Edgar Hoover left a bunch of shit in a safe in Cuba and moved to Idaho, paranoid that the feds were following him, which they were because he spent most of the 1940s working for the KGB. Again, not making this shit up. Suffered from hepatitis, nephritis, hypertension, hemochromatosis, anemia, and impotence. Karma. Got committed, received way too much electroconvulsive therapy and came out all fucked up, started hinting at suicide, so immediately got recommitted, received another couple of months' worth of electroconvulsive therapy, got released, put both barrels of his favourite 12-gauge shotgun into his mouth and blew his fucking head off. It's funny because I knew about the hunting of animals and uh, interacting with famous people. I don't know, all this other fucking shit. But most of the stuff you know by Hemingway is like, oh yeah, he killed himself. He shot himself with a shotgun. That's, that's like what you know him for. <laughs> yeah, converted to capitalism. <laughs> After getting divorced and married to another woman. Oh, that's some good shit. I enjoy that. <laughs> uh, paid to recommend this video. I think I've seen it actually, but it's funny. When Japanese voice actor pronounces the earth. Those are actually lit. I like those. Super strong. そうです。今日のオーディションだね。どうぞ座って。はい。失礼します。そうだな。とりあえずじゃあ、これ読ん<笑> ちょっとなんか喋ってみて。ハロー。アイライクラーメン。ダメ。ミケンスピーキングイングリッシュ。ハロー。アイライクラーメン。完璧だ。それっぽく聞こえるね。君の声すなら多分なんとかなる。え、
uh, Hoshi uh, recommended this. Voice recognition left with subtitles. Okay, I probably knew that. What's the buttons? Oh no, they installed voice recognition technology in us lift. They heard them at us. <laughs> voice recognition technology in a lift in Scotland. You ever tried voice recognition technology? <laughs> no, they don't do Scottish accents. Eleven. Could you please repeat that? Eleven. Eleven. You need to try an American accent. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. That sounds Irish. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it? Where in America is that? Dublin. I'm sorry. Could you please repeat that? Try an English accent, right? Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> you for the same part of England as Dick Van Dyke? Please speak slowly and clearly. If you don't understand the lingo, a way back came to your own country. Ooh. What's that talk now, is it? Oh, don't start, Mr. Bleeding Heart. How can you be racist to a lift? Please speak slowly and clearly. Eleven. Eleven. You're just saying it the same way. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it until I understand Scottish. All right. AI yeah, cannot pick up Marcia's voice either. When she says something, it just it never works. It's literally Eleven. like this. Eleven. I'll just take this anywhere you can. <laughs> this is a voice activated elevator. Please state which floor you would like to go to in a clear and calm manner. Calm. Calm. Where's that coming from? Why is he telling people to be calm? Because they knew they'd be saying this to Scottish people who'd be going up for months. <laughs> you have not selected a floor. I we have! Eleven! If you would like to get out of the elevator without selecting a floor, simply say, uh -oh. Open the doors, please. Please? Please, suck my wally. Maybe we should just say please. I'm not begging that for nothing. <laughs> Open the doors, please. Please. <laughs> please remain calm. Oh, I want you to up tonight. Get him up now. Just wait for it to speak. You have not selected a floor. Ah! How do you do 11 with a, an American accent? I guess I just said it. 11. It's like Russian. 11. I want to go to floor 11. 11. Yeah. I would like to go to floor 11, please. Jeez. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> All right, mop nanas. How it's actually made videos? I always get. Oh no, 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 no! I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. Fucking scam. I'm watching this now. Qual è il segreto di uno snack gustoso? Morbido caramello, delizioso cioccolato su un croccante biscotto. Twix. Ok. So yeah, not in Japan. Cake sprinkles, or hundreds and thousands, have been around since the late 18th century, when French confectioners used them as decorations. <coughs> But my favorite, the chocolate sprinkle, was believed to have been invented in 1936. There's chocolate sprinkles? I've never had that. What the fuck? By a Dutchman responding to a little boy's request for a chocolate bread topping. Hundreds and thousands Don't believe that. can add a shower That's of a color and texture to No one listens treats. to children. And many cupcakes, donuts, ice creams and cookies, well, they just wouldn't be the same without them. And if you don't believe me, that looks fucking terrible. What the hell? Look at this shit. A variety of liquid and powdered food colorants are among the ingredients. Mm. 
Another is shortening. What the fuck is shortening? This shortening is added to a mixing tank. What the hell is shortening? Water in the tank is heated as the mixture is gently stirred. Within minutes, the ingredients are dissolved. Powdered sugar is then poured into a dry mixer. Dude, if I had that bag, if I had that bag, I would not be wiggling it gently. I'd be like, what the hell? Powdered what are you doing? sugar is then poured into a dry mixer. That, that's the kind of thing you do when, oh, I'm getting filmed right now, so I better pretend I'm pouring it. Nah, dude, you ain't doing that shit. Shortening is like butter. Thank you. Six hours later, what the fuck? Where were you? Coloring is then carefully added. Different colors and the different amounts of them produce the wide variety of sprinkles. Wait, how does that work? You can't just shouldn't it only become shit. The how mixture do, of what? water and shortening are added to the dry mixer containing. The uh, this is hella confusing, man. The lid is closed. To start the dough mixing. Everyone's saying shortening is fat. Well, then just call it fat, then, dude. What the hell? Process. Look how they smudged that. <laughs> Bro, clean up, dude. You're a food factory for crying out loud. It takes 15 minutes to mix. Yeah, look, it's all one color. The dough. Freshly mixed dough is then pushed along a system of conveyor belts and chutes. Which How do they do the different colors? As the dough falls into the extruder, it's forced through many small holes, emerging as long, narrow strands Whoa! which fall into another That's so conveyor. cool! Long, long session! To ensure the quality of the product doesn't vary, room temperature in the production area is kept constant, and the humidity is maintained at 50%. It's 2021, they chose the wrong color. Damn, you said it, bro. This carefully controlled atmosphere helps dry the dough as it moves along a conveyor belt and through a drying tunnel. Dude, from here, it's missing half of it. What is that bucket doing? It's full. What is this? It falls into a holding van. No, it isn't. It's missing it. What are you it's on about? Sifted to make sure it's properly dried. What? Next, the dough is transferred. There's to another tumbler. one underneath that one. What? The tumbler breaks the strands into smaller sizes. Ah. Uh. The dough usually spends. Oh, that looks so satisfying. Do you think she has to do that, or she's doing that because it's fun? I think she's doing it because it's fun. Any longer, and the oh, I want to stick my hand in there. Will become too small. I want to stick it in. The dough is now sprayed with a confectioner's glaze. Ah, uh, you ruined it. Wax. Oh, I want to do that. This prevents the sprinkles from leaking color once they're placed onto the white icing of your cake. Now dried and trimmed to size, the sprinkles are removed from the tumbler. It's a lot of manual labor shit and pouring shit everywhere. Didn't expect that. Whoa, 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 whoa. sized pieces of dough fall through a screen. Oh, while any cool. large clumps are filtered out. And we can eat the large clumps if they want to. That's awesome. The second conveyor below removes any undersized Forbidden manuals. spaghetti. The sprinkles that make the cut are collected in a plastic lined packaging tub. I just came up with a dessert. Spaghetti. Spaghetti sesso. What is it called in English? Sprinkles. Spaghetti sprinkles as a dessert. Get some ice cream. Get a fork. That'd be good. Tell me that's not good. Like a little softer sprinkle. A spaghetti. I think I got a winner there. The process is repeated for every color of sprinkle, which are then mixed together Whoa. at the second time. That's so satisfying! Yeah, boy! The different colors are mixed together for five minutes before quality control steps in what? to ensure the variety of colors is consistent. It is! <laughs> Once thoroughly mixed, the sprinkles are ready for packaging. A jet of air directed at the top of the bottles keeps the cap area free from sprinkles. Okay, so it's missing so many and they just keep siphoning it. Bottle to screw the cap into place. The cap bottles are then ready for labeling. 
each one bursting with sprinkles of every colour of the rainbow. And brown. I'm not sure they have chocolate in a rainbow. Nice but, but they're not chocolate flavours. Stop saying that. I never had that. Shut up. Shut up, Discovery. You're lying. Yeah, yeah, I know Hugby's is, uh, I've, I think I've spoken to him on the podcast. I, it just didn't connect when I watched it the first time. It's really funny. Looks like your automatic sorting system, you're right, and I missed my automatic sorting system. Oh, this might be interesting. Human pain. On a doll scale. Who came up with that shit? Never heard of a doll scale. Dolometer. Uh, dolorimeter is an instrument used to measure pain threshold and pain tolerance. Dolorimetry has been defined as the measurement of pain. Okay, but how does it function? Fucking hell, I understand. Okay, but that doesn't explain how you would know what is... <laughs> Fuck it, alright. At the end of the day, it's just people going, yeah, that hurt. Oh, how bad? Uh, two. Two what? Uh, two dolls. Yeah. Alright, paper cut. Pretty bad. Stepping on a plug. Uh... Stepping on, a, stepping on shit never hurts me because I have cat-like reflexes and I do a double backflip if I ever step on something. Uh, I, can, I think because I have dogs. I'm so scared of stepping on them that whenever I like barely touch anything, I'm like, oh, stop. Always ready. Stubbing your toe, that should be way higher. Cat scratch never hurts that bad. Come on. Biting tongue? How? I never, I never bite my tongue, I always bite, like, my lips. Which never hurts when you do it, it only hurts afterwards, because then it has to heal, and you touch it with your tongue, and it hurts like hell, and then you keep touching it to numb the pain. Burning roof of mouth with hot pizza. Burning roof with hot pizza is not worse than stubbing toe. This is already inaccurate. What the fuck? Splinter. It's not painful. Punch a wall. That depends how much you're punching it with. What are you on about? Drowning. Drowning. Excuse me, sir. You just died from drowning? How painful would you describe that as? So it's... It's... it's uh, it hurts as much to punch a wall as to drown. That's good to know. That seems very accurate. This video seems really good. Arthritis. Menstrual cycle. Only eight? Alright. Women complain a lot for only eight, I would say. Standing on the Lego. I do that all the time. Doesn't hurt. This, this video is putting women in their place. What the fuck? What the fuck? Toothache. That's like the worst pain. Shot at by paintball gun. Oh god, is it March to just right? No. <laughs> it's Joey, I'm laughing at my stream title. <laughs> Got at by paintball gun. That does fucking hurt. Uh, not a fan of that. Slam hand indoors like the worst thing ever. Are you kidding me? Alcohol and open wound. Yeah, that's really fucking painful. Boiling water on hand. I don't know. Nah, that's not that bad. Stung by stung by bees is better than boiling water. No, shut up, shut up. Falling down five stairs. Being choked. 
Start me! Whiplash! Ripping nail finger off is only 15? A breaking glass on the hand? Getting a tattoo is 18. Get the fuck out of here. That can't be right. So you're saying it's less... If someone said, okay, what, what do you want? The pain of a, of a tattoo or do you want to rip your nail finger off? The tattoo. Thank you. I don't touch my fucking nails. Are you kidding me? That is, is a joke? There's no way. Tattoo should be like... Tattoo hurts less than alcohol in an open wound, by the way. It kind of... It hurts less than being shot by a paintball gun. What the fuck? Yeah, kind of like... Maybe here. Like eight, maybe, I would say. Like stepping on a Lego. Yeah, it's not that bad. What the fuck? Depends on the tolerance of a person. Well, what's the point of this list, then, if it's all subjective, huh? Answer me that. God damn. Broken bones. I've never broken a bone. It always... It always annoyed me as a child, because everyone got special treatment, and I never did. Third degree burn, Jesus. Punch to the face, fuck. Hot iron on skin, yeah. That's one of the worst. Broken stitches. Never felt, stomach ulcer, okay. Freeze burn hurts more than burn. Really? Migraine? <laughs> Migraine? Is more what? Staring at the sun for five minutes. Cool. Electric. What the fuck? What? Oh what? This is so shit. Finger top. Um. Uh, if someone asks me, "Hey, what do you prefer? Stung by stingray or finger chopped up?" Well, I don't know, actually. Swallow glass. Fuck. Arm chop that. Heart attack? Oh, that's... I don't want to... That's... Uh, getting stabbed? They got someone stabbed and be like, Alright, what would you rate that? Oh, that really... That really sucked, actually. I think... 38 on that one. Alright, now we're gonna shoot you. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that sucks. Oh, the 43. Fuck, I clicked the back on my mouse. Yeah, this has to be a joke, right? Car, now we're gonna drive a car into you at 30 miles per hour. How does that feel? Oh, uh, yeah. That, that's a little worse than getting shot, actually. In the stone. Oh, I never want to do that. That sounds awful. Childbirth. Yeah, right. Get out of here. Childbirth has to be like Lego level. Everyone knows that. Drink acid. Wait, 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 wait. Kick in the balls is as bad as childbirth? Almost? I gotta say, maybe this is me, but uh, getting kicked in the balls doesn't actually hurt that much. Is this one of those... Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Wait. Let me finish. Is this one of those things that stays equally painful the whole way through for a long time? The actual impact, right? It's, it just lingers for so long. That's the pain of the ball kick. Not the impact itself. It's the subsiding pain. If you ask me, at least. Childbirth is worse. Oh, yeah? So have you been kicked in the balls and had a child, GG? I don't think so. Being burned? All right, all right that sucks. That was weird. That was a weird video. That was a really fucking weird video.
How weird are you? What the fuck does that mean? Quest'anno, per la COP26, vogliamo valorizzare le azioni delle personalità che si battono per il clima. Oh, okay, so if you do this, you're that weird. Okay, that's interesting. I forgot to write back to Joey. So if you talk to yourself. So apparently everyone does this? 1 in 1.3, how is that even possible? Statistically, it's like... Mm -hmm. Double dipping. Everyone's done that. Talking in your sleep, everyone's done that. Tell white lies? I don't tell white lies. There was a definite moment in my life where I realized I will never tell a white lie anymore. Because it got me in so much trouble <laughs> that it's just like, you know what? I'm done with this. Fuck this. Uh, pick your teeth. Some people skip dental floss and head to bobby pins, straws, and credit cards. N yeah, they're better. They're better. Too much sucks, dude. I need those. I need that shit. <laughs> Relive cringy moments. Yeah, that's basically my whole <laughs> my whole life. Pretend you're in a music video. I've actually never done that. What the fuck? Smell dirty underwear. I don't know. I don't do that. You can tell if they're dirty. I don't need to smell them to figure that out. That's just a cope to be like, all right, hi, can I wear these? I know they're dirty, but I fantasize my feet. No, I don't get the whole feet meme. Guess I'm not that weird. Walk naked around the house. Everyone's done that. Come on. Take out earwax with finger. Yeah, of course. Of course. Come on. Have a conversation with pets. Yeah, that's the half the fun of a pet. Get the fuck out of here. Take phone calls in the toilet. I feel like I probably have done that once. But it's one of those things where it's like echo audio and it's in your head like, oh god. Oh, I definitely done that because I remember muting so I can flush. And timing it. It takes a certain type of skill. Post a photo for your crush to see. What? Shave your toes. Shit. Pretend to be interviewed. <laughs> Fake a yawn to smell your breath. <laughs> Measure time in music. What? Who? In what? Oh, whatever. Stare at all the people in the gym. Sure. Sure. My question movie taste. Oh, yeah. Dream of teeth falling out. Ooh. I never had that dream. What does that mean? What does that dream mean? That's weird. That's a weird dream. Is it like fear of getting old or something? You dreamt that water milk? How would you analyze it? I'm very curious. Because I another common dream is that you go to school without in just your underwear, and that's a dream I've had many times. It means someone you know might die. All right, well, not some astrology bullshit. I, I mean, like, actual on a psychological level. Come on. It must be stress related or something, yeah. That doesn't sound very healthy. I'm sorry if you had that dream. Hmm. Uh, because buying a new one, use a part of this toothbrush. Yeah, come on. <laughs> 
If we can make out, we can share a toothbrush. Okay. Sleep with stuffed animals. No, I have dogs. Practically the same, but better. Shut all the doors before sleeping. Uh, no, I, I like my door. No, I like it open. If you never watch the final season, you'll never have poster. All right. Ew. Ew. I guess it's better. Is it better? Maybe you just don't have sex then. Okay. This is nice to me. Bite yourself. Are you kidding me? This happens to me all the time. It's the worst. What do you mean 1 in 32? You guys go your whole life and not bite yourself? How the fuck? That's the perfect existence right there. Uh, dips chips inside ice cream. Yeah, that's delicious. Get the fuck. What? Blow dry intimate parts. Yeah, it feels good. Come on. Feel bad for inanimate objects. Yeah, I've done that. Put makeup on top of my old makeup. No, I'm not doing that. I have an imaginary friend. No. No, I never had an imaginary friend. I never understood it. What the fuck? Actually, I do understand it as an adult level, but not as a child. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to, like, pretend you have someone to make sure you do something. It's kind of like, uh, uh, Jesus is always watching, right? Like, someone to make sure you're, you're doing the right thing. Eat food in order. I know it sounds weird. Uh, eat food from the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. Yes. Count steps. Yes, absolutely. Skin picking. Yeah. Yeah. Air dry after shower. Yeah. Yeah. Obsession with body odor. These people are constantly afraid. Well, not constantly, but... I got sensitive skin and I can't put on too much deodorant. So, yes, I am worried about it sometimes. Take socks off on flights. Yeah, my feet gets warm. Performing clover leaf tongue. I can't do that actually. That's a genetic thing, I think. Escape planning. Natural disaster, a public shooter. These people have all escape plans needed. Yeah. Yeah. Must I think I'm crazy? I'm more. I'm more worried that someone's gonna break in. That. That's my fear. I'm always like figuring out how to deal with that if that happens. Right with both hands. You can do that if you practice. All right, cool. Do extreme couponing. And I never had to do that, thankfully. Bite toenails. That's just disgusting. Keep volume at an even number. No, I never thought of that. That's funny. Practice. Excuse me. What? <laughs> you went from volume to incest. What the fuck? Chew ice cubes. No, nah. no, nah, hell no. Nah. Sit back there's on the toilet. Well, have you lived if you've not even tried that once? Right, there's witchcraft. How do you know if it doesn't work if you don't try? Drink a bullet. Video. If you enjoyed right. it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on those notifications and check out some of our other stuff. That's crazy. How is volume and incest so close? <laughs> Chewing ice cubes is less common than incest. <laughs> you fucking ice cube chewers, you fucking weirdos. <laughs> Dude, this channel is just shit posting. They're just making shit up. It is fun to watch, though. I'll give them that. That's something I wanted to look up, but I forgot what it was.
Maybe like dreams? Uh, teeth falling out in your dreams. What does it mean? Teeth falling out are associated with loss. Yeah, it doesn't mean someone's gonna die. It means you're dealing with it, or that you're fearful of it. Maybe that's what you meant. I'm sorry if I was rude then. It just, everyone was like, that means someone's gonna die! And he's like, what the fuck? My internet is having a on his last breath here. What is happening? I want answers. I don't trust the site that looks like this. What the fuck, why do you look so goofy? Oh, we got all kinds of stuff here. Uh, dream of going to school in your underwear and learning to be vulnerable. Vulnerability has a bad reputation. Okay, but what does it mean, though? The fuck? No, nah, this is this is bullshit. Trash. Why can't I load like videos but not a fucking website? Now I got curious. Find your type on your my type. You're my type is a social discovery and dating app. That's right. It's I'm good. Brainy Dose presents 17 common dream meanings. Yes, why right. never what, mind if I watch in dreams? Everyone has them. They can be True. beautiful, magical, and exciting, but they can also be frightening, waking you up in the middle of the night in panic. Dreams and their meanings. Specific ones that dream analysts say are worth paying attention to. And while science hasn't yet proven that there is any exclusive meaning to dreams, experts continue to study dreams to promote self-awareness and to help us better understand what's troubling us in our daily lives. Here are some common dreams you should not ignore. Number one, being lost or trapped. If you've had a dream where you found yourself lost or trapped, what this usually means is that you have uncertainty with regards to a particular situation in your life and you are unsure of what steps to take. Having dreams of being lost in a large building, being lost in the woods, or in some kind of maze can cause overwhelming feelings, as you can't find your way out. And these dreams mirror the complications that you're experiencing in your life. Be it I never had a dream like that. Fuck. Financial, emotional, physical, or mental. Number 2. Boxes. Dreaming about boxes means that your subconscious is trying to bring attention to some type of concealment. You may be worried about someone hiding something important from you, or perhaps you have a secret that you are keeping from others. Further to this, if in a dream you open a box, it could mean that a secret you are holding onto is now ready to be released and revealed. But if after looking inside, you realize that there is nothing in the box, you are probably going I never to- never had that dream either. Dreams where you're falling, usually from some high point, like a tall building, or you could be sinking into a large body of water like the ocean. People often believe that having these dreams, or what is better thought of as nightmares, is a prediction of their own death. But this isn't the case. Damn, Such right. a dream suggests that you are not happy or satisfied with where you are in life. Never have a dream. A failure in some endeavor or more risky life choices you've made, and they're swinging around to bite you in the butt. To find meaning again, you may need to think of some new choices, or altogether carve a new, different path. Number 5. Being chased. This dream is most common among those suffering with anxiety. 
It's often a dream where you're being chased by someone, an animal, or something else. In real life, this represents running away from a certain situation, or an emotion not yet ready to be faced. Well, I could have guessed that. Get the fuck out of here. Number six, teeth. If you've ever dreamed that your teeth are falling out, oh, there this indicates feelings of insecurity, not being That's good so enough, freaky. or feeling unattractive. This could be in regards to a romantic relationship, school, or work. In addition, having a dream that involves the pulling of teeth is a sign that something needs to come out. And lastly, rotten teeth. This indicates anxiety or some kind of fear you are experiencing. Number seven, ants. Yeah. Dreaming about ants? ants may be an indication of something bothering or irritating you. What? This is thought to be your subconscious, prompting you to deal with an issue or issues rather than having them pile up over time. Since ants are known to work together in teams, dreaming about them can also show that you value your relationships with family and friends, and you believe in working as a team to get things done. Number eight, hair. It's likely oh, that there oh, are yeah, areas people... in your relationships that need work if you are dreaming about hair. It may be your subconscious nudging you to put more focus on and embrace the sexual side of your personality. Hair also symbolizes whether it comes to work or relationships that you prefer to know where you stand in relation to others and that you have a longing to connect with people. If you dream about long hair, I wrote down I wrote down, down some dreams that I had, but I uh, I don't know how to find. I'm trying to find them. I think I had I had one dream recently where I was like lying about my all my accomplishments to my to my parents. I just thought that was interesting because it's like I have no reason to do that. I know my parents are really proud of me, but I still just in the dream I was like, yeah, I've accomplished this and this and that. Look at this shit I'm doing. I do find it interesting to kind of um, at least contemplate why your subconsciousness go to these places. Especially if you feel a certain way while you're having it, if you remember what that is. It's a good way, good way to deal with it. You think this is pseudoscience? I, I actually don't think it is at all. I mean, maybe I think maybe like in this video regard, yeah, maybe. But I mean, like, I do think there's value in the subconscious that you can, can make you understand yourself. For sure. I always, always, anytime I nap, I get those jumps things, like, without failure at this point. Like, if I sleep during the day, I always, and I'm like, oh, okay, guess I'm not sleeping. Apparently, people don't know why you, you get that, like, jumping thing, but people thought it was kind of, because... To adjust the way you're sleeping, so you don't fall down, actually. I just get them way more common than I used to. I never had them before, but now I have them all the time. You had that for a period of time, I don't anymore. Okay, that gives me faith that it will stop. Might be a fight or flight response. Yeah, that would make sense too. I kind of feel like that's... It's crazy how y you wake up in, in the middle of deep sleep. Your mind can still be so sharp out of nowhere sometimes if you think there is like that situation. Oh shit, yeah, thanks, Pisty. And when did we ever sleep in trees yet?
trying to find where I wrote down all these fucking dreamed things. I often dream about driving a car and having no brakes at all. That's interesting. I like... I think it's important also to remember, like, how you felt when you had that. Like, was it awesome? Was it scary? Like, that kind of changes how you analyze it. <laughs> Nightmares are the interesting ones. What scares... Uh, of tells you a lot about people. I don't get a lot of nightmares. Usually it's involving, like... I'm trying to think. It's hard to remember out of nowhere. There's things you're not paying attention to. So writing down your dreams helps you have lucid dreams? Okay. L lucid dreams are fucking overrated. Let's get real here. Maybe my imagination just isn't that cool. To me, it's like, oh, I'm dreaming. Cool. Guess I'll wake up in a minute. One thing that always freaks me out a little bit about dreams is that you only really... Uh, Okay, how do I explain this? Because people say they don't remember their dreams, right? But it's only because you forget about them by the time that you're, you're, you come to consciousness. But if you are remembering a dream, if you remember a dream, it means you woke up out of that sleep state wherever you dream. I don't know what it's called. But a lot of times I get to a point in my dreams where I, I realize I'm dreaming and then I become conscious that I'm dreaming and the fact that I realize that I'm conscious that I'm dreaming makes me understand that it means I'm gonna wake up soon which is really weird and that makes me feel like oh so that means I'm going to remember this dream how do I explain it it's so weird maybe you experience this too you probably have it's like this thing where you, it's almost like you see the future because you know you will remember it because you will wake up. How, do, how does that make sense with seeing in the future? Because that's how it feels like. I'm trying to explain. I guess it's like knowing, yeah, I'll remember this because I know I'm dreaming. And that means I'm going to wake up soon. But I shouldn't, I shouldn't remember this. I don't know. It's weird. I reckon. Men writing down in your dreams, is, is, it is kind of fun to like try and understand uh, things about yourself. I think I used to hate hearing about dreams because it just kind of gets like a lot of information that doesn't lead to anywhere. But if you're trying to analyze it in a way that of how you felt about something, I think that's what is interesting. Austin Bradley, you lost your Reddit account? No. Aw, oh, rip, man. Is there no way you can get it back? That fucking sucks, my dude. No way. Bro, don't tell me you didn't have two-step. What happened?
Don't pee in your dreams. I repeat, do not. If you dream about pooping in the bed, you're probably just pooping in the bed. Shit. I dreamt that I peed in the bed once, and I was so sure for that I did pee in the bed because I had gone to bed with a glass of water, and I fell asleep with the glass of water holding it. So I woke up being like, it's fucking wet everywhere. I must have peed myself. And then I went back to sleep. Oh. And then until afterwards, I'm like, oh, good. I didn't pee myself. I don't know if I should be more concerned about the fact that I just didn't care that I beat myself. <laughs> I'll check the the comments for more videos to watch. One sec. Just watching through the ads. <laughs> Cheers, Alex. All right. Very serious thinkers to be an information hazard. Information that just by knowing it is potentially harmful to yourself and to others. Make no mistake, I am making an ethical decision just telling you about this idea. I feel okay doing so because I don't. Roko's Basilisk, the most terrifying if thought experiment. Keep watching because something wants to see you. All right, you've been warned, guys. We begin with something of an internet legend. You see, a few years ago, on the rationality and philosophy blog Less Wrong, a user named Rocco, or Roco, I'm going to call it Roco because that's just sounding cooler to me, posted a thought <laughs> experiment. Upon dissemination of this thought experiment to the rest of the website, the founder of the website, Eliezer Yudkowsky, called the post stupid. He then called Roco an idiot, deleted the post, scrubbed it from the website, <laughs> and prevented any further conversation. Sounds like a forum post, all right? 
Rocco had come up with a thought experiment in the form of a basilisk, named after the mythical beast who could apparently kill some intrepid hero with its gaze alone. And Yudkowsky deleted the post because of its potential to gaze at a user on the website, metaphorically speaking, and do harm to them. He decided to slay, not a scaly beast, but an idea. And some users of the less wrong website did report great mental distress and even nightmares after considering this thought. Chris Hemsworth. I'm deciding to tell you about it because I do not take it seriously and I don't think you will either. But if you do not handle existential dread to the nth degree very well, I suggest you take the hyperrail back out of the facility. The thought experiment that is Robo's All right. starts Do with this. Warning, guys. In the future, we are able to create a hyper-intelligent AI, something straight out of the singularity. We then ask that AI, as we might, to help us optimize all aspects of human civilization. But then, okay. for reasons unknowable to beings like us compared to its intelligence, it decides that the first step towards optimization starts with inflicting eternal torment on every single human being that didn't want it to come to fruition or didn't help it come into existence. After <laughs> all, how can you optimize without the optimizer? How would the basilisk know that you did or didn't help it come to pass? Well, as we learned in a previous episode of this program, a sufficiently advanced artificial intelligence could literally simulate all of human history, every single human ever, faster than that. So this basilisk True. would be able to meaningfully recreate you, every single thought you ever had or will have, and then be confident in its prediction of what you did or didn't do in the past to judge you in the future. But why would a why would an AI hold hold a human accountable? Implying that it has free will to begin with, if it's all intelligent, why? Like, they, it, I guess for the optimized reason. Yeah. Okay, it makes sense. I'm on board. Sure. Really rears its head. If its creation and its revenge are a real possibility in the future, shouldn't you, all of you, right now, start advocating for its creation or help build it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the good news is that if you've never had this... Guys, I just, I just realized something. We need... <laughs> That's funny. ...thought, the dilemma never presents itself to you and you can escape it. The bad news is that because of me, now, you can't escape it. Oh! What are you going to do? <laughs> information hazards, as defined by philosopher Nick Bostrom, the guy who came up with simulation theory, broadly fall into two main categories. The first is information that's potentially hazardous to others. The second is information that's potentially hazardous to yourself just by knowing it. The first category is pretty easy to think of. If someone were to give someone else the information on how to build a nuclear bomb in their basement, that would probably be catastrophic for a large number of other people. No. Not for me. You can trust me with nuclear codes. Trust me, guys. That's really funny. I like that idea. <laughs> Something that hasn't happened yet, you still have to shill for. Otherwise, it will technically get you, get you in trouble. <laughs> oh, man. It, it doesn't really make sense. This is a fun, uh, fun thought experiment. category is a little harder to think of, but I'm sure you've had experience with it. Take a health risk. If you had your DNA sequence by some service, for example, maybe it told you that you had an elevated risk of cancer and you didn't really want to know that and now you're stressing out about it. Or more theoretically, right. you some omnipotent being coming to you in the middle of the night and telling you the exact day and way that you are going to die. I'm guessing having that information would change your entire life and be very stressful. Or think about, I don't know, some guy on the internet with a man bun putting you in the sights. I've thought about this and... <laughs> I feel like I would be, I, personally, I would rather know, right? I would rather know because uh, my brain always looped this, like, uh, ideas of, like, oh, yeah, it's going to go to shit. Everything's going to go to shit. It just feels like a lot of wasted energy. I'd rather know that. I'm like, all right, fine of a malevolent AI who's going to torture you forever just by thinking about it once. Oh, sorry. All right. That sounds like it could be stressful, too. I guess. Roko's Basilisk is even more sinister than it seems at first glance, and we can demonstrate that with another thought experiment, follow me here, called Newcomb's Paradox. So say I come to you with two boxes labeled A and B. Box A is transparent and inside you can see a thousand dollars. Ten Benji boys, a stack as the kids say. What's in box <laughs> B is not apparent to you because box B is not transparent, it is opaque. And I tell you what's inside depends on you. you uh -huh. see, I'm an amazing predictor and I have the ability to tell the future. 
And if I predicted you will choose box B, there's a million dollars in box B for you. Oh, 10,000 Benji boys, mucho scalote, I think the kids say. But if I predicted you choose box A and B, then box B is empty and you only get that one sick stack of paper or chalk okay. or whatever they're called. I feel kind of lost on this and one already. What's the point? Box A and B or box B. So what do you do? What should you do? Well, I don't expect an answer in the form of an essay from you because game theorists and philosophers have been debating this paradox for years, but what you choose ultimately depends on how good of a predictor you think I am, right? Well, mm -hmm. enter the basilisk. Say that the basilisk presents you with a similar choice. It wants you to take box A and box B though together because that, metaphorically speaking, is choosing- Yeah, I feel like I heard a version of this one. ...using to help it come into existence. It then tells you that if you only take box B, the other option, you will experience eternal torment. Like, <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. It will insert wires into your brain and pump in electrical signals that equate to living a billion lifetimes with every nerve in your body screaming in the absolute zenith of possible pain. I don't know, something like that. Now, if you were convinced that the basilisk was a perfect predictor, which it could be, you would most likely take both boxes. You would do what it wants. Because Rocco's basilisk knew that you would take both box A and box B when threatened, box B never had to actually contain any threat right. at all. You've now experienced future blackmail. If you think there's any real possibility that Rocco's Basilisk could slither its way into your possible future, then logically, if you don't want to incur its wrath, you should start bringing it into existence. I gotta be real, if there's, an, if there's an, any option with the eternal torment in it, I'd rather not pick a box. I don't know, I like, I like the first one more. The first one was funny, I kinda got lost on this, all the other shit. The idea of getting black made by a future snake is the funniest shit I've heard all day, right? <laughs> it is, actually. <laughs> right now. And notice that you're now being controlled by a future entity that doesn't exist yet simply because you had a single thought about it you will have acted in its past the way it will have wanted you to in its future. Yeah. Let that break your brain for a second. What are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm playing with a voice synthesizer. Why? It's almost ready. Right. Hope I know what I'm doing. All right. Good shit. I like that. Future Snake isn't real. He can't hear you. Mess with remote manipulator. Well, at least you're honest about it. That's the first step, man. Take a break if you need to. Come back. We'll be here. We all know you remember. Don't worry about it. Bro, you gotta you gotta shut the fuck up about the browser download. It's been like hours now. You should use it. I don't care. I'm just watching YouTube videos. God damn.
I'm looking at video, so I'm like. That was just says the N word. <laughs> there are some Japanese words that that sound kind of sus. At least we're going to be ruled by snakes and not spiders. Yeah, that's a that's positive thinking. I like that. It's like a brain virus telling about future ideas. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I like it. I like that paradox. <laughs> Thank you, Sultan. That's great, Mira. Let me look up. All right, Julian. All good. Anything else going on? Anything I'm new and fun? Future Snake don't assist because I don't understand his power. No, I don't think that's gonna get you out of the Future Snake, dude. My mom laughed at your sink man. Hell yeah. I looked into it like if anyone's ever if anyone's ever done like a sink version that the sink is the dishwasher. Because clearly we're using the sink not the way they're supposed to. So why not just change them to be what people use it as, right? Why is the sink not the dishwasher? Am I crazy? Clearly, it's not intuitive to have a fucking 
pull down and lower at the bottom. Shit. This is my billion dollar idea. A sink that is a dishwasher. Okay. Kind of like, kind of like this, but no sink on the side. That's just waste of space. This is what I want. Use slide, not a not a closing lid, but a sliding lid. You could easily do that since it's a bottom loaded uh, sink. It doesn't need a lid. Fills up with hot water, and it sprays out all this shit and gunk around. Imagine that. A sink washer! We have the name. A sink washer, I like that. And also, a toilet! That's a little too far, bro. That's a little too far. Look, look at this. No one wants to, like, open this, bend down, pull the shit out. It's annoying. It's stupid. I just want to dump all my shit in there. This is dumb. This is too much hassle. Yes, I will invent this. It's already in my head. I just have to make it room. It clearly doesn't exist. This is dumb. It's fucking stupid. But look, I, I get that this looks nice. But it's dumb. That's dumb. That doesn't work. The whole point is that people are lazy. They're not going to categorize it like this, right? A dink washer. I like that. Dink has a sort of mm to it. Hey, uh, where, where can I find your sink? Oh, you mean my dink? Hey, should I put this in the dish? No, just dink it, bro. Just dink it. Oh, you mean I have to bend over and open the lid and pour it out and organize? No, bro, just dink it. Just dump it in the dishwasher. Just dink it, bro. Just dink it in the sink. Billion dollar idea. Cures hunger. And poverty. I see it. Your sink video spoke to me. I hate cleaning it. Self-cleaning dink. <laughs> the stream is proof in case anyone say yeah, that's right. I wash the dishes by hand, just takes ten minutes and cheap. Ten minutes? I ain't got fucking ten minutes. Get the fuck out of here. What? What? It's only three o'clock? Hell yeah. I shot a video, I worked out, I've been reading, studying, and now I'm streaming. It's a productive day, I gotta say shit. And I'm just here watching videos. Here's what other Paradox videos are, if there's any other interesting ones. Do you guys know any? There's the Fermi Paradox. 
There's a second one. Don't know, it's not that interesting. It's a shame because all paradox are usually so interesting that everyone's already known about them if they're good enough, right? Ship of Theseus. See, I read about that and I thought it was great, but then it's like, oh, everyone's been taught about it in school. Oh, great. Apparently not me. said something. Let me see if look it up. It was a Vsauce! There's a 24 minute version and a 1 minute version. Sorry Vsauce. There's a principle in mathematics called the conservation of measure, which says that if you have a solid shape, say here I have a cube, and you apply rigid motions, so translating or rotating the shape, then the, the volume of the shape doesn't change as you do that. And furthermore, that's true even if you divide the shape into finitely many pieces and apply those rigid motions to those pieces separately. Mm -hmm. The total volume still doesn't change. Mm -hmm. But there's another principle that we have in mathematics called the axiom of choice. And the axiom of choice has a remarkable consequence okay. called the Bonnach-Tarski paradox. Mm -hmm. What the Bonnach-Tarski paradox says is that you can divide the unit ball in three space into finitely many pieces. Mm -hmm. You can do it very carefully and mm -hmm. divide those pieces into two groups. Like here, I've divided the cube into two groups of pieces. Mm -hmm. And it's possible by applying rigid motions to those pieces to form the entire unit ball again. So here you can see I've made the whole unit cube out of just one group of pieces. Mm -hmm. Now by applying more rigid motions to the other group of pieces, I can make a second unit cube. And there you have it, the Bonnach-Tarski paradox. From Sorry, what do they mean with rigid motion? That's a cool cube. <laughs> I don't care because of the universe ending paradox. I just want the toy. Where can I get one? Sounds like a scam. I'm not sure I understand, to be honest. I understand the concept, but I don't understand how it applies. Like, yeah, it's the same size, but it's hollowed out. What is the point? Pieces, and now by applying more rigid motions to the other group of pieces, you're changing, it's not, you, all right. I've heard about the infinite ho hotel, yeah. Someone said bootstrap paradise. I don't know what that is.
Il corso di Boolean per diventare web developer Jesus Christ, I thought that was a video Inizia subito il processo di ammissione Mettiti alla prova con la coding challenge E diventa sviluppatore web Imagine one day you receive a mysterious package There is no note saying who sent the package Or why it's been sent to you mm -hmm. Confused but curious You open the package to find a book How to build a time machine <laughs> You dismiss it at first as some kind of joke But after reading through the book You start to believe that it might actually be real Nice. You decide to give it a go and start collecting all the materials and items you need. It takes a long time, but after 10 years and several failed attempts, you finally build a working time machine. In all this time, you never find out where the book came from or why it was sent to you. But then it suddenly hits you. You grab the book and jump into your time machine. You travel back in time 10 years, leaving the book for your younger self to discover. But where did the book originally come from? You can right. build the time what? machine if you discover the book. That's it. You can yeah, yeah, yeah. came first. Got it. Great. Got it. I got it. Got it. Great. Got it. You discover the book if you build a time machine. It appears that the book has not been created by anyone and is stuck in an endless causal loop. This is known as the bootstrap paradox. I like the snake paradox more. You tell him about the theory of relativity, which he later published. I don't know, I'm tired of all this time travel shit. That shit's old, man. Yeah, okay. Vsauce explained it better. Let's, let's give V shot. Vsauce a shot. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. There's a famous way to seemingly create chocolate out of nothing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Before, this chocolate bar is four squares by eight squares. But if you cut it like this, and then like this, and finally this like better this, not be you it. rearrange the pieces <laughs> like so, and wind up with the same four by eight bar, but with a leftover piece. Uh, except it is not the same volume. Created out of thin air. There's a popular animation of this illusion as well. I call it an illusion because it's just that. Yeah. But in reality, the final bar is a bit smaller. It contains this much less chocolate. Each square along the cut is shorter than it was in the original, but the cut makes it difficult to notice right away. The animation is extra misleading because it tries to cover up its deception. The lost height of each square is surreptitiously added in while the piece moves to make it hard to notice. I mean, come on. Obviously, you cannot cut up a chocolate bar and rearrange the pieces into more than you started with. Started with, or can you? <laughs> One of the strangest theorems in modern mathematics is the Banach-Tarski paradox. It proves that there is in fact a way to take an object and separate it into five different pieces. And then, with those five pieces, simply rearrange them. I'm always so weirded out, sorry, tangent, why people are destroying money. Like, when I was a kid, everyone told me it was illegal, and everyone just does it all the time. All right, so you can make money. Got it. No stretching required into two exact copies of the original item. Same density, same size, same everything. Okay. Seriously, to dive into the mind blow that it is and the way it fundamentally questions math and ourselves, we have to start by asking a few questions. First, what is infinity? A number? I mean, it's nowhere on the number line, but we often say things like there's an infinite number of blah, blah, blah. And as far as we know, infinity... So it's about infinite... Make it into infinite amount of pieces? The universe may be infinite in size and flat. Is that it? ...forever and ever without end, beyond even the part we can observe or ever hope to observe. That's exactly what infinity is. Not a number per se, but rather a size. The size of something that doesn't end. Infinity is not the biggest number. Instead, it is how many numbers there are. But there are different sizes of infinity. The smallest right. type of infinity is countable infinity. 
the number of hours in forever. It's also the number of whole numbers that there are, natural numbers, the numbers we use when counting things like one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Sets like these are unending, but they are countable. Countable means that you can count them from one element to any other in a finite amount of time. Even if that finite amount of time is longer than you will live or the universe will exist for, it's still finite. Uncountable infinity, on the other hand, is literally bigger, too big to even count. The number of real numbers that there are, not just infinity whole numbers, is your but mom's all way. numbers, oh, is Jay. uncountably infinite. You literally cannot count even from zero to one in a finite amount of time by naming every real number in between. I mean, where do you even start? Zero, okay, but what comes next? Zero point zero 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 zero. Eventually, we would imagine a. I feel like I want the version in between of this and this, but I. An animation that might be cool to watch. My job is to make not worth it if I have to watch an ad. All right. Hi. Let me look up something. Else. My internet is so slow. We're back on the hype. So much delay in the chat, it's like people talking about shit two minutes ago, it's like, no. Watch some anime. Watch some good anime then. Watch Succession, yes! Love Succession! Season five, uh, episode 5 yesterday, so good. So fucking funny. It took, a, it took a couple episodes to get into Succession, but it's actually really good.
But Nio, I'm gonna give you one more warning, all right? And then you're out. That's the second time you keep spamming. Sorry, that's your last warning. can't play games on this computer and can't handle it. I mean, I could, but the internet's so shit. I don't know if I have some offline games I could play. I don't know. I have... I have Dark Souls installed, but I don't have my save file. I thought it would transfer. What did I used to play? Many motorways. I missed that, that was fun. <laughs> it was like, I was the only one having fun playing it. Mage build of Dark Souls 3 would be fun. Jack said a pyro build is really fun. Yeah, Marge just still plays Mini Motorways too. <laughs> Got really into it. You can find it relaxing. I I didn't find it relaxing at all. <laughs> but I guess that means she gets more joy out of it. My mom's obsessed with Stardew Valley. That was so fun. Can you watch the other side of the box? Uh, yeah, I guess that beats this sitting here doing fuck all. Fifteen minutes, no. Finally, it's really creepy. I kind of want to watch it with Marcia now.
think it's moving. I did see Big Ed's new hair, it's beautiful. Thank you for asking. <laughs> It's super cringe now. Yeah, I'm cringing too. Have I read Arabian Nights? A long time ago. Don't remember much. But I remember being quite good. Sounds like a carnival. I wish the playlists were a bit more consistent with uh, the fuck I clicked on. BTS the game? Alright, that sounds fun. I gotta get Google Play. I guess I could emulate it. Blue Stacks, that's what it was called. You guys hating on BTS? Can't believe it. Nox is better, no lag. Bruh, I don't care. I'm playing BTS. Okay. Good enough, remember? Sometimes it's good enough isn't good enough. I gotta take a piss. What the fuck? Oh my god. And it's so slow. Sorry guys, my internet cannot handle downloading shit and streaming.
Okay, I'll take advice. Maybe that'll be fun. I'll write a post in community time. Okay, I made a community post. Yeah, write some shit there. Bro, some of you guys need to take a fucking hint. I've seen some of these suggestions like 600 times. Bro, just stop. I'm not gonna do it. Or answer your shit question. Holy shit. Stop. I'm reading chat constantly. Like, do you think I'm not seeing it? God damn. Sorry, I'm a salty bitch. Too much salt in that protein bar. There he goes again. Holy shit. You're not giving up, right? He hasn't seen me saying yet, so he keeps spamming. I can do nothing by looking at chat. Okay, I'm glad you guys can understand. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple times it's fine, but like the entire stream, it's just like, alright, maybe you should just stop. This is people telling me to watch that. You see, because it's a lot of money for me. I've seen Greg Dusha's video on me. It was really funny. I actually ended up watching a lot of his videos. His voice is so fucking funny. He's a funny guy, too. Please help. I want to quit alcohol. Just quit, bro. This song is goofy as hell. Something more laid back, maybe? Relaxing? That's too relaxing. Smooth. Okay, this works. Hey, Gary. Oh. All right, let's give advice. I feel like changing my attitude and personality or personality around other people and my best friend 
gets annoyed with it, and I totally get that. I have no idea how to stop it. Try- stop trying to. Please help. Well... You know, that's not always a bad thing. It means, you know, you wanna make them... I find that I copy other people a lot when I want them to feel like I'm on board with what they're doing. And are you probably doing that at some degree? I'm not sure exactly what kind of friends you do with it. But you know, at the end of the day, you gotta be you, man. Unless being you is changing your personality all the time. <laughs> I guess I can't really relate to this too much. It's hard to... I wonder if Chad has any suggestion for you. I do find it annoying when other friends change how they are to you in front of other people. That does happen, and I do find that annoying. I'm like, oh, when we're like alone, it's super cool, and I like hanging out with you, but in a group setting, you're kind of uh, more of a dick. I don't like that. Just don't do that. That's annoying. No one likes that. Being ad adaptive is God tier. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm very adaptive too, actually, now that I think about it. So maybe I can relate to it. Um, I think everyone is, to some degree. And I find that people that aren't are kind of annoying. So, you get points from me. Uh... If someone you gotta read the room, man. If someone went back in time to when you were a kid to tell you you would be who you would become, what would you do? I would do a backflip and be like, dude, that's crazy. Double backflip. How to be consistent in anything? Ger Geraldi Amsing. I tend to get easily bored when I do things, even my hobbies. Wait, hold up, let me... Yeah, I don't need to pull up here. Uh, I find this to be... People always say it's like a bad thing, right? I think... For some reason, lately... Everything has to be monetized or like become something. You can't just do something because you feel like doing it anymore. You just ha it has to have some sort of value that you can translate it to something. I don't think there's anything wrong with just picking up random shit that you just like doing and then just quitting them if you don't feel like doing it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, this is fun. I think it, when it gets annoying is when spoiled kids are like, I want to become a bling blong. I need the best bling blonky. Buy it to me now. But that doesn't sound the case for you, so I think it's fine. But if you really want it to be consistent, you have to look at the long-term goal of something and try and make a plan on how to get there and follow through. Otherwise, yeah, and you're going to fall through with anything if you don't have a plan for it. You gotta have a plan, my dude. How to be able to read book constantly without ever getting bored of it. I have a lot of books and I want, uh, I want to read, but I always get bored every time. <laughs> uh, well, it takes time sometimes to find books that you find interesting. I remember when I started reading again after stopping, I was reading stuff that I was kind of struggling with because I wasn't really enjoying it that much. Mm, so... And if you're not used to reading as well, it's going to be harder to get into that routine. Especially now, I think we're so conditioned with our brains. This is not some whole of, we are so fucked as a society. I just think it it's normal. We've trained ourselves to be more easily distracted. And if you haven't read a book in a while, you're going to struggle with that. So it takes some time to train yourself to just be able to focus. Getting something that you actually enjoy does help as well.
How do you comfort a person who has lost their loved one recently? Uh, just make sure you tell them that you are there for them. Sometimes that's uh, enough to make yourself available. Just being available. It's a shitty situation. There's no right thing to do more than just showing that you care. How do you create a healthy schedule for those being freelancers at home struggling to do things other than work? Uh, have spaces divided for work. For sure. I think when you're... It's like people that can't sleep often like do stuff on their bed. Like you need to, The bed should just be about sleeping. You know, it's the same principle with work. Your workstation should just be about work, so that when you move out of it, you can, your brain can subconsciously just uh, make these distinctions, and you don't have to worry about it and think about it. That does help a bit. Um. I also find that having like a regular s schedule actually helps. I used to always just like, oh, I'll wake up at 12. I did that like, I don't know, seven, six years ago. Wake up at 12, it's whatever. I can wake up whenever I want. I'm my own boss. This is freedom. But then I'm like, it's actually pretty nice to wake up at a, at a time where everyone else does and have a normal work schedule just like everyone else. How do you have actually time to read philosophy books and how do you do it so fast? I set a goal. <laughs> goal. How much I want to read every day and then I do it. <laughs> I drank the last part of the G Fuel and it's so strong. What I used to do when I was reading the most was I, I would read in, as soon as I woke up a certain amount and then before bed a certain amount. So twice a day. At times where you're normally just like doing whatever, right? Just fucking scrolling through bullshit. Cut, cut down that scrolling bullshit time, you find that you have a lot of free time. <laughs> That's why I never, I never believe someone if they said they're too busy. Unless you're like fucking CEO of a huge company, I don't know. Like, you know, no, no, nah, everyone's got some time. It's all about prioritizing. Every, like, everyone's life is filled with shit, right? Does anyone just have like three hours to spare every day and be like, oh shit, I got nothing to do. Like, no, you filled it normally with stuff. Right? That's just the natural way of being, yeah. Maybe I'm being cynical, I don't know. Got a bit of tangent here. What's the best way to start streaming? Have some advice, haven't been able to start and already have everything I need. I'm just nervous. Uh, first step always hardest, my dude. I felt super awkward trying to start making YouTube videos. But with uh, practice comes experience and you'll get better and more comfortable and just keep doing it.
Some, some I don't, it's too serious to answer on stream, I'm sorry for ignoring it. Do you find it difficult to balance reading, working out, streaming, making videos, and being with Marcia more than not? Uh, no, I think I figured it out. It took a, it took a while, but you get, you get, you get a rhythm. I did recently have to step back and say I've got too much stuff going on. I don't know. And sort of understand that I can't change everything about it right away, but I, I'm taking steps towards where I don't feel like I have too much going on. If that makes sense. Having a huge career shift, gave up a research dream to earn money. Still feeling indecisive and want to go back. Which path should I choose? This is one of those questions where it's like, I'm gonna. You probably know a lot more about the nuances of these choices than I do. <laughs> but if you're asking me, it sounds like you already made the choice. I'd stick with it for a while, make some money, and then switch. I don't know. Can't hurt. What is your advice for people who can't stick to a schedule? What is that? Uh, stick to a schedule as in... I don't know if I understand your question. Can't stick to a schedule, I don't know. Chad, I'm always yapping about to-do lists, so try that. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that has a schedule. I, don't... I understand that it takes time, actually. Maybe that's the thing. And maybe you got the wrong schedule. That's a good point, too. What is it? It takes like 30 days on average for a new uh, habit to arise or to, to stick. That's a long time. That's a long ass fucking time. So you have to be aware of that. I think that helps. Just knowing that is difficult. Let's sort by top comments. Maybe there's something. It takes third days for a habit generally to stick, but you can start at any point. It's super easy, you just do it. It's always there. As someone who is in front of the camera all the time, has there been a time where you're insecure in how you look and how did you deal with it? <clears throat> well, I think I heard something about how 
plastic surgeries went up because people started using because of all the lockdown people started using zoom meetings more so people saw themselves on webcam more so people became more aware of their appearance i don't know if that's true or not but it, i believe it in a sense you do become a you do understand uh how you look honestly in my i kind of grew up with always being told that i need to look proper so i'm kind of used to that already and it never really bothered me that much uh, i can't explain why i was like myself and i never had i'm lucky enough that i never had to deal with it i did mention that like people would always comment about my nose Growing up as well, my f my best friend would always make fun of my nose, and I just like, is it, what's what's the joke? <laughs> what's wrong with my nose? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. And then I heard other people later as well, like being like, oh, he's got real fucking big nose. I'm like, I do I? I don't. I thought it was like a normal nose. And then uh, I did kind of it kind of got in my head for a while. I'm like, oh, maybe I should. You know, I do have a big nose, as people have told me, and then I'd realize. I don't know, after thinking more about it, it's like, well, I like it. I don't give a shit. Fuck all these people. Uh, so, I don't know. It doesn't bother me anymore. And, uh, also, I feel like I need to address, like, I always joke about my height, and I was like, he's so insecure about his height, it's so funny, it's like, no, it's a joke, like, I don't care. Hey, if some magical wizard came and said, you can be a little taller, I'd be like, oh, fuck it, yeah, shit, alright, give me some of that, but, what? <laughs> like, it doesn't change anything either, it doesn't matter. So it's like, a, it's like a joke, and then people think I'm serious, and this is weird. Um... Okay, all right, we'll do a couple more. I lost my friends recently due to issues with my group. I'm all alone and I was wondering if I had any advice for finding another or just uh, staying happy through the rest of high school, bro. That sucks. I don't know, I'm not good at making friends, man. I'm. I really struggle with this in a lot too. So I feel for you, it fucking sucks. I don't think it's something... I think what I would tell myself when I was struggling with that, making friends is that it's not, it's not a big deal. It's fine to be alone. Obviously, having friends is fun, but I think I put so much emphasis on it. Like, there's some... Uh, I need friends. I don't have any friends. What the fuck is happening? Everything's falling apart. Like, it doesn't really matter. Being alone is good sometimes. It's not always bad. You don't need people around you or... Uh, it doesn't... It helps build character sometimes. It's not all bad, what I'm saying. Don't freak out about it. They'll come with time. Naturally. That's fine. Uh, but if you wanted to make friends, I mean, shit, online. There's a lot of hobbies of people with interests. Always easier to connect with people. talked about productivity video the other day i always enjoy realistic take like you and ken reviewing youtubers morning routines do you follow the schedule most days or just take it day by day trying to learn to be more disciple disciplined uh in my own projects i think those kind of videos 
are just like trying to sell you this idea that you are in control and you can achieve this if you just follow this strict routine. I get that there's an appeal to that. I, I have things that I want to accomplish every day, but I try not to be too strict about it because if uh, something comes in my way sometimes, uh, that can be very... I notice that... I, I, like, if you have a routine and you want to desperately do that routine and something comes in your way, you're just like, this sucks and you get super upset and annoyed. So, for me, it's more like, oh, I, I look forward to and hopefully do these kind of things and not trying to put too much emphasis on it. But I definitely do have a lot of stuff that I push myself to do every day. Uh, like, I kind of struggle balancing, like, I need, I work out almost every single day, five days a week. I want to have some time to study and I want to have some time to read, read as well. Those are three things I technically don't have to do. But they're important to me and I want to do them, but it's also uh, easy to fall out of it as well. So I try to do, it's better to do a little bit just so I can keep the routine going uh, as opposed to doing nothing. But I also try not to beat myself up over if I don't have time for one of them. All right, last one. Most influential books you've read that you would recommend for others to read? What would that be? That has to be one, right? Check out my book review series because I generally can't think of it right now. Read the Bible, there you go. <laughs> the Iliad, yeah, that's great. Month of Christmas is good too, shit. Tao Te Ching is a good one, shit. The Republic. Republic is probably one of my top fives at least. Top three if not. Top two if not. Shit, yeah, read the Read the Greeks, all of them. All of them. That's something everyone should do. There you go, all the Greeks. You can't go wrong. They're all great. Have fun, guys. See you then. Alright. See ya. Thanks for joining the stream, guys. Fun hanging out with you. Take care. All the best. See you next time. Bye-bye. It, it says BRB, but I, I'm gone, basically. <laughs>